Hello, I'm Jennifer from the St. Louis County Library. Welcome to Advanced Libby. This series of videos will teach you how to use some of the more advanced features of the Libby app to enjoy ebooks, audiobooks, and magazines. This video will focus on browsing and using filters. To see the full playlist of all of the Advanced Libby videos, click on the link in the description. When you go to the library section of the Libby app by tapping the library icon at the bottom of the screen, there are several different curated lists for you to browse through. These lists are constantly changing depending on the time of year and what's going on. To see all of the titles on a particular list, tap the name of the list or tap where it says see over however many titles. If I wish to return to the library home screen, I can tap the back button in the top left corner. Now, if this category is something that I'm not at all interested in, I can hide it by tapping the X next to the name of the list and then proceed. Let's do that one more time. Let's say I'm not at all interested in this category, so I'm gonna tap the X next to the name of the list and then proceed. If you wish to restore those lists at a future date, you can scroll all the way to the bottom of the library page and then tap Restore Dismissed Lists. So now if I go back up to the top, here are those two lists that I dismissed restored to their rightful place. One of the categories that you can browse in the library section of Libby is the eBestsellers collection. This collection contains popular titles that have no waiting list and can be borrowed immediately. You can either click the title of the category or where it says see all titles to see all of the titles that are currently available. Some of the titles in this collection are special skip the line copies, which have a shamrock icon next to them. This allows you to instantly borrow titles, which have very long waiting lists. Skip the line copies also cannot be renewed, and you can only have up to two skip the line copies checked out at any given time. When you are looking at your hold shelf, you may occasionally see words that say quick, skip the line. This means there is a skip the line copy of that title available right now. And if you're quick, you may be able to borrow it before somebody else does. So if you just tap the words quick, skip the line, and then borrow now, Now, when you do borrow a skip the line copy this way, it does count as fulfilling your hold. So you will be removed from the hold list when you borrow the skip the line copy. And on my loans, I can tell that this is a skip the line copy because the shamrock icon does stay with it on your loan shelf as well. If you would like to browse by subject, go to the library section of the Libby app and then tap the filter button. Some of our most popular subjects are listed at the top. If one of these is the subject that you're interested in, go ahead and tap it. And then tap the green button in the top right corner where it says show titles. Let's do another example. I'm going to return to my library section by tapping the library icon down at the bottom. And I'm gonna go back to the filter button. Now let's say the subject that I'm interested in is cooking. Cooking is not one of the six subjects listed here at the top. So I need to tap on these green words here, which says explore all genres, topics, and categories. Now these are all of the different subjects that are available in Libby. As you can see, there are quite a few. 
And it may at first be difficult for you to find the subject that you're looking for because by default, they are in order of size, which means how many titles we have in that particular subject. So as you can see here, fiction is first because we have the most fiction titles. You can change that into alphabetical order by tapping here where it says by name, and that puts all of the subjects in alphabetical order, which makes it much easier for me to find the subject that I'm looking for, which is cooking and food. So I'm gonna tap cooking and food, and then it takes me right to the subject that I'm interested in. When you are browsing and searching, there are several filters that you can use to narrow your results down. When you select one or more filters, only the titles that meet those criteria will be displayed and all other results will be hidden. The filters that you have chosen will appear at the top of the screen next to the filter button. One of the most commonly used filters is for the format of material. This filter limits your results to one type of material, either books, audiobooks, or magazines. The types of material often appear at the top of the screen, and you just need to tap on your chosen format to apply that filter. If the format types do not appear at the top of the screen, you can tap the filter button, go to the format section, tap on your chosen format, and then tap the Show Titles button in the top right corner. Another commonly used filter is Availability. By default, you are shown everything, but that can be changed. If you tap the Filter button and scroll down to Availability, if you are interested in borrowing something to start reading or listening immediately, you will tap Available Now. If you are mainly interested in placing holds on titles that have not been released yet, you will tap Coming Soon. For now, I'm going to tap Available Now. And then tap the green Show Titles button in the top right corner to apply that filter. And now the only titles that I'm seeing are titles that are available for me to borrow right now with no waiting. If you have an e-reader and want to make sure that the titles are compatible with your device, tap the filter button and scroll down to the read with section. Tap Kindle if you have a Kindle e-reader, or tap EPUB if you have a Nook or Kobo e-reader. I'm going to tap Kindle, and then tap the green Show Titles button in the top right corner to apply the filter. Now it is only showing me titles that I can send to my Kindle e-reader. And by the way, I could have applied all of those filters at the same time without having to do them one at a time. Let me show you how to do that. So I'm gonna start over by going back to my library homepage. Then I'm gonna to go to the filter button and apply all of the filters that I had just a moment ago. So I'm gonna tap mystery for my subject, books for my format, available now, for my availability, and Kindle for my read with preference. Now I'm gonna tap my show titles button, and now I have all four filters applied at the same time. The filters that you have applied appear at the top of your screen. Now let's say you want to remove one of the filters that you applied. To do this, tap the name of the filter, scroll down a little bit, and tap Remove Filter. This is only necessary if you want to stay in the same search or browsing section and remove one or more of the filters. If you are starting a new search or a new browsing session, the filters will be reset automatically.
If there's a filter that you would like to stay for future searches or browsing sessions, you can pin it. To pin a filter, tap the name of the filter, scroll down and tap pin filter. So now I can tell this filter is pinned because there's a little push pin icon here. Because I have filtered for books, that means anytime that I search or browse from now on, it will only show me books. This can be really helpful if you don't want to accidentally borrow the audiobook version of the title, or you could do the same with the audiobooks. You could pin the audiobook filter and then you don't have to worry about accidentally borrowing an ebook. So let me do a search just to show you that it's still there. So I'm gonna to go to the search icon and I'm gonna type in John Grisham. And you can see my books filter is already there without me having to apply it. If you decide later that you wish to remove one of the filters that you have pinned, you'll remove it the same way as before. Tap the name of the filter, scroll down and tap remove filter. Thank you for watching. There is a link to the entire Advanced Libby playlist in the description, as well as a link to upcoming technology programs at the St. Louis County Library. Thank you for supporting the library. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel.